if you felt an earthquake on this planet, it was because geeks was all having simultaneous <laughs> orgasms because the Justice League is going to release the Snyder Cut. And I heard. Think, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So in case you're wondering why everybody is having geek gasms about the Snyder Cut, today, Zack Snyder was having a, a watch party for the last Superman that he did with Henry Cavill. And in that watch party, the news came out that they are going to release the Snyder Cut because it has a whole lot of scenes, over an hour and a half, of stuff that they didn't put in the original Justice League movie. And they also called back the actors and paid out like $20 million to finish some finishing details on this movie. It drops on HBO Max in 2021. And it's said to either gonna be four hours long or they might release it in six installments that'll all take an hour. Stuff that people are looking forward to that was cut out of the original that could be in this one. In the original story, they didn't put a whole lot of what happened to Dark Side's background in the story. They're going to do that. Also, in this scene you're looking at right now, you kept hearing Steppenwolf refer to Mother Bob because his mother had these cosmic powers and she got trapped in that Mother Box. And what he really wanted to do was free her, take her powers, and go beat Dark Side. So you're going to see some of that. You're also going to see a big, the big fight where Steppenwolf was taking on um, the, um, the Green Lantern Corps. He was taking on the Amazons. This fight right here, that was not originally Steppenwolf. That was originally Dark Side. And the other caveat to this movie that they're possibly going to put in there is that Dark Side was able to take over Superman and put him in his black suit. And the Justice League had to fight against Superman a little bit. So that's why everybody is so excited and is like, bruh. You should have released that in the movie. That would have made the movie a whole lot better. T. Shreve, yeah. like, to you first. Are you going to be watching it? How do you feel about what they might be doing on the Snyder no. Cut? Now, um, um, I think that this is probably a good idea, seeing that uh, some of the DC movies be a little bit uh, lacking in some areas when you compare. You can them. say their ass. <laughs> 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 when, you, <laughs> when you compare them to Marvel movies, and so I think this would actually, I think this would actually do it some justice. Now, the thing is, is uh, can somebody sit through, you know, four or five hours of uh, of screenplay? Um, perhaps I, I don't know. Some hardcore fans probably so. Drop it down into two pieces. Probably be a little bit, probably be a little bit better. You know, maybe. Um, so they're saying they're saying it's either going to be as of right now it's either going to be four hours straight or it's going to be six one hour installments. Yeah. So yeah, four hours is tough. That's tough. I think what T Strange was talking about with two parts, like even if they made it five hours and made it two two and a half hour movies could work. But I like the idea since it's going to go to HBO Max. I like the idea of six one hour installments. Yeah. Yeah, and since they send it, and since they sending it to cable or TV, why they just don't let it go? They making us wait to twenty twenty one. They're not finished. They're not yeah. finished developing it yet. They still got to put some finishing touches on it. Okay, so that's okay. that's why you can't get it right now. That that that, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. now, no, I just I had just uh, ran across that today and was like, hmm, interesting. And so I think it's a good play for DC. They they need a good, they need a a, a, a comeback movement, uh, uh, aha moment. Real, they they need one bad. All DC movies that are good are ones about their villains. Those are the good ones. Their heroes suck. I shouldn't say their heroes suck, but the way they present their heroes, they suck. You know. But then you have like they're like I like I like the Joker was good. I didn't I didn't always like the message so much with the you know the way they're put, but I like the movie, you know. Um the Suicide Squad I think was great. That was probably that's probably my favorite DC movie. Did you, you know? I still like I still like all the Batmans from um, um The Dark Knights. 
Yeah, Dark Knight. Mm-hmm. Did Did you guys hear who's who, who's supposed to be playing the Joker? In the no. news? No. You didn't hear it? No, I missed Did it. I break the news. You breaking it. You bro- you're breaking it. Yeah. What? Really? I can see that. I can see that. I can, breaking I can, news. I, I, I can see it. Via T streams. I, 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 I caught it on Twitter yesterday. And so, uh, yeah, uh, wow. Johnny Depp uh, is is slated to uh, is slated to do the the Joker in the in the new Batman with the uh, with the Vampire Boy. Oh my lord! Thank oh God. yeah, uh, Rob, Rob Patterson or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I was never a fan of that hire for him to be Batman. I'm really mad at Ben Affleck. I could have eventually got behind his Batman. But I'm glad you got someone of that caliber to play Joker. Yeah, and so that that may just that you know that may just make it that more appealing uh, because you know dude dude was reporting that he wasn't he wasn't going to work out and do some extra stuff for the role. He wanted to be a natural Batman and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and I say, man, don't don't screw up. The genre or the name, man. Don't don't, don't up the franchise because you know you got a chance to play in this iconic role. And then I, I came across that and I said, okay. But then maybe they'll just have the Joker beating him up all up and stuff. So I don't. Yeah, I I, I don't still don't know why they picked that dude. They they should have they should have cast what's his name. If they're gonna cast one of those Twilight dudes, they should have cast what's his name, uh, Taylor Lautner. I think he would have been a better Batman. No. So, <laughs> but any of you know, the other dude that would have been good too is that what's that kid's name that's from uh he used to play on Teen Wolf on the CD not the not the movie, obviously, the uh the series. I, I missed it. I didn't catch it. Hold on, let me look him up right quick. Um Tyler Posey. Okay. I, okay. I think he would have been a good. I think he would have been a good Batman, but not not Rob Patterson. I just I'm not feeling him. I'm not saying he couldn't be a good. I'm not saying he's not a good actor. I just don't see him as Batman. Well, I, I've said that early on, and I've had to eat the words a few times. I guess we'll just have to see on that one. But, they could have um, made him the villain in the New Blade or something. He's already been a vampire. Just make him the villain in the New Blade. Mm. <laughs> We'll see 